let's talk briefly about how asset allocation is being commoditized. First, a quick overview of home bias, and this is from Wikipedia. The equity home bias puzzle is the term given to describe the fact that individuals and institutions in most countries hold only modest amounts of foreign equity. This is puzzling, since observed returns on national equity portfolios suggest substantial benefits from international diversification. The home bias in equities was first documented by French and Poterba in 1991. Now from that French and Poterba paper, it said U.S. domestic ownership was 92%. U.S. investors had 92% of their equities in U.S. stocks. In Japan, the number was 95.7%, in the U.K., 92%, in France, 89.4%. Things have gotten better since then, but not by much. Let's look at some of the common portfolios out there. This is from a Barron's Penta study in March of 2016. What we can see is that U.S. stocks and U.S. bonds accounted for about 70% of the portfolio, developed international stocks another 18%, and not a lot in the rest of the asset classes. The odds are that this is what your portfolio generally looks like. Most advisors are charging around 1% for the same portfolio. Here's a very popular 2035 retirement date fund. U.S. stocks and U.S. bonds accounted for about 62% of the portfolio, a big chunk in developed international stocks, and not a lot in the other asset classes. Yet this portfolio only charges around 0.15%. And then here's a large robo-advisor. U.S. stocks and U.S. bonds account for about 64%, a chunk in developed international, adding in a chunk of emerging markets, and not a lot in anything else. This portfolio charges around 0.25%. This is what diversification looks like to us. This is our tangency portfolio. The fee is 0.2%. And you can see, just visually, it has a lot more diversification. It is a lot more well-rounded. The question is, what does your portfolio look like? These three portfolios look very similar from an asset allocation standpoint. Overweight U.S. stocks and bonds with a chunk in developed international stocks. These three portfolios look very similar in terms of price. Let's take a very high level view. U.S. assets dominate the cookie cutter portfolios. Let's compare that to global GDP and our supernova tangency portfolio. These are home biased portfolios. Investors do not get well compensated for home biased portfolios. You are not taking advantage of diversification and the magic around lowering risk and not lowering expected return. Here's our disclaimers and confidentiality. Feel free to reach out to us to discuss this in more detail.